Let's practice overlap in the ocean. Let's start with the drawing part first. Let's use a pencil. To overlap, we need a foreground, middle ground, and background. Starting with a pencil and your piece of paper the long way, we're going to draw two diagonal lines to be rocks. Now draw a line straight across the middle of your page to be the edge of the sand. Use bumpy lines on the top to show the waves of the water. Underwater, there's often trenches. I'm gonna go ahead and use bumpy lines that look like little mountains to make the trenches in the ocean. Now we need to draw five objects to decorate our ocean. I'm going to start with some seaweed. Use the pictures in your seesaw to help you think of ideas. Remember, you need to have five. Do you see where my seaweed overlapped my line? I can erase the line behind so that my seaweed is on top. I'm gonna draw a few barnacles, some coral, and other objects around my rocks. Now we need five animals. Using your pencil, draw five animals somewhere in your scene. They could be sitting on the rocks, they could be on the ground of the sand, or swimming in the sea. Notice that the animals overlap certain parts of the drawing. Anywhere the animal overlaps, you need to erase any lines that cut through it. I'm going to draw five creatures by looking at pictures. You could use drawing videos too, but keep in mind those take a long time. Try drawing them from what you can see. Look at the basic shapes and break it down. Do you see where the lines cut through my shark? I'm going to erase those lines so that my shark is on top. We call that overlap. Remember, you're making your own animals. It's not necessary that you follow mine. Using a black or dark colored colored pencil, crayon, or a marker, carefully trace all of your lines. This is going to be important because it helps you see all of the overlap you've created. Anything that doesn't overlap correctly, you can fix now. When you're done tracing, you can carefully erase all of your pencil lines that are peeking out. Great job on your drawing part. Let's move on to the next step. Now you can color. I'm going to color with both markers and crayons for my picture. You can choose whatever tools you want to color with. When you color, it's really important to stay inside the lines you've created. Think of your picture as your own coloring book that you made yourself. Remember, the ocean is a bright and colorful place. Go ahead and choose colors that you would like your ocean to be. Great job on your ocean overlap. Take a picture and add it to Seesaw.